Okay, guys. And here I remove the front panel. It's connected with the cable to this socket here. So just disconnect socket, pull up the cable, and was able to remove the front panel. So it looks like that. And then I was able to remove the well cover. And now we have access. So here we have, uh -huh, we have to remove this screw to remove this plastic piece because we need to get to those screws here. And uh, these two screws. And I believe there is two more from the bottom. No? They're from top. Okay, I need to see how it's all installed to pull up the tape transport. As you see, the large, huge display. That's what I like in these decks when like, Tape transport is on the left, and you have huge display and your controls on the right. Uh, with central layout, it's almost not possible. And here, finally, I may take a look on the head. It looks fine, a little bit used, but not drastically. Okay. Let me see. I uh, will pull up tape transport and then like, we will uh, disassemble it. Oh, you see, here is a stabilizer. That's how it works, you see. It pushes the tape back there. Cool. Let's see. Trying to open. Looks like I need two hands to do it. Okay, let me. Here we go. Here we open. So basically the same tape transport as in CT95 or Pioneer T1000 T1100. Just this one sits straight, not tilted back. Left pinch roller is the same small. Let's see. Okay. Let's see. Everything else looks pretty similar to me. This is sticker about reference tape deck motor. Nice. And uh, here a huge power transformer. It just enormous. Take a look. So my hand is not small really. It's metal. <laughs> it sounds like metal. So, built like a tank. That's why it's so heavy. Okay. I will be keep working on it. See you in the next parts.